Hi guys and welcome to this video on rates of reaction graphs. Um, specifically in the specification it says that you need to be able to interpret graphs in relation to rate of reaction. In the previous video we discussed the two different ways which can measure the rate of reaction. We said you can either measure it by the product made over time or by the reactant used over time or how much reactant is used up over time. So if we start to draw a couple of graphs to try and represent um, a rate of reaction, we'll start with this one here. On the side we've got the gas produced in millilitres and on the bottom we've got time. And this is going to represent um, how much product is made in a reaction over time. So you might see graphs with shapes a little bit like this, whereas as time goes up, the gas produced also increases. Okay, and then it will level off at the end, whereby no more gas will um, be produced because all of the reactants would have reacted together. Similarly, they might ask you to look at um, something like how much mass of a reactant changes over time. And if the reactant are the things that are reacting together, we would expect that to decrease over time. So you might have um, a graph that looks a little bit something like this, where you start with a high mass of a reactant, and then over time that mass drops quickly as it's reacting and then will eventually all be used up in the reaction. So you need to be able to read these graphs and interpret what's happening. They might ask you to draw a line on the graph, for example, to show um, a quicker or a slower reaction. So let's start with this one on the left. If you're asked to draw a faster reaction, think about where you might put that line. Should it go above? or below the existing one. Well, because it's a faster reaction, we're going to have more gas produced over time. So if we start to draw a line here, we want more gas produced. So our line will be above the existing one. And that will be a faster rate of reaction. Because if you follow it up at this time point here, for example, the orange line has a lot more gas produced than the pink line. Similarly, you can look at that on the second graph. If you ask this time to draw a slower rate of reaction, have a think about where you might draw the line for a slower rate of reaction. Well, in a slower rate of reaction, you're going to have less mass lost of the reactant over time. So our, this time our um, graph will be above it because we've got to have less mass of reactant lost. So we can draw a line. So we can draw this line above to show a slower reaction. Because we have less mass lost over time. If we take this time point here for example and follow up, the pink line has a lot of mass lost whereas the orange line doesn't have as much mass of the reactant loss so it's a slower reaction. So that's one thing you might be asked to do, draw a faster or slower reaction on these graphs. The second thing that you might be asked to do, which is a skill that you need to know throughout the whole test, is to describe the shape of the graphs. And this will often be um, two or three marks. And if it is, you need to think about it to yourself, how do I get these marks if I describe what's happening in this graph? Now the thing that you need to do is look for two different shapes on the graph. For example, this one here, we've got this section that we can talk about here, whereby there's a lot of gas produced over time. And then we've got this section produced over here. So 
draw these circles on your graph you can draw all over your graph to try and break this down and if we're describing this graph for two marks we need to talk about both sections so if we put some numbers on here um, say from 0 to 10 to 30 seconds over here we can start to talk about what's happening between 0 and 10 seconds so we would say between 0 and 10 seconds the gas produced increases rapidly for one mark and then for your second mark you need to talk about what's happening between 10 and 30 seconds um, so I'll just write that above here so we've got our first mark here between 0 and 10 seconds the gas produced increases rapidly but then it starts to flatten out so between 10 seconds and 30 seconds the gas produced starts to level out for our second mark so if you have a described question on graphs try and literally draw on the graph to break up into two um, sections and then talk about each section oh so I'll just move that down so you can see it so between 10 and 30 seconds the gas produced starts to level out if your graph starts to flatten off like this level out is a good description of that shape of the graph and if you've got something increasing rapidly um, that's the keywords to use for describing those sections of the graph very finally um, the last thing I want to talk about is if you have a rate of reaction graph that looks a little bit like this if you have a straight line going through zero or it might be a straight line up until a point and then it might start to curve if you have those areas where you've got a straight line the relationship that you need to be talking about is something called directly proportional okay really important if you've got a straight line going through zero the relationship is directly proportional and this is often two marks for um, describing that relationship as directly proportional and what that means is that as the numbers increase on the x-axis the numbers on the y-axis will increase by the same percentage um, so in other words an, a good example is that, is that if x doubles then y will also double so in summary rate of reactions graph you need to be able to interpret them perhaps draw a line representing a slower or a faster reaction and also describe these graphs so we're talking about drawing and separating the sections on the graph and describing them to get your two marks and one to look out for if you do see a straight line relationship that goes through zero think to yourselves I need to write about directly proportional if you find my videos useful please press the like button below and subscribe to revision monkey thanks very much for listening and I'll see you in the next video